Hi everyone, this is Brian with Anderson Pens, and on today's episode of My Favorite Pens, we're going to take a look at a red hard rubber Esterbrook Relief. Let's take a look. Okay, here we have a very, very rare pen, and I'm, I'm comfortable, I don't use the term rare very often, but I'm very comfortable using that on this pen. This pen, I actually purchased off of eBay. It was one of those situations where um, the seller was not aware of what they had. It was actually kind of pictured kind of off the screen. And so I took a, a gamble based on what I knew about the design of the pen and it paid off. I actually won this auction uh, on Christmas day I was coming back from um, the movie theater with Lisa and the kids from seeing the, the Hobbit in 3D. And we almost had to pull over on the, the way home because I needed to make sure that I won this pen on eBay. And uh, I did win it. Uh, we did not pull over, but uh, uh, here it is. It's just, it needed a little TLC, but you're wondering what the heck is this? This is a red hard rubber lever filler, clipless, made by Aiken Lambert and company for Richard Esterbrook. So it's fully marked, you can see this here, R. Esterbrook and company made in USA, very early Esterbrook imprint. Uh, it has the classic Aiken Lambert oval lever, and it's clipless. It's a very, very interesting pen. Um, there's no other marks on the barrel or the cap. Carefully put that cap down there. We've got a red hard rubber section, solid 14 karat gold nib, and it's marked 14 karat USA R Esterbrook Relief. And presumably in the back here, 314 probably behind the section what they usually were. Um, yes, full hard rubber, red hard rubber feet as well. Um, this pen I very carefully restored, uh, including polishing the, the feed back to it's former glory because it was quite, quite grungy. But this is the only example of a red hard rubber Esterbrook that I am aware of. Uh, I am, it's quite possible there are others out there and I'm sure after I release this video, there'll be, uh, it'd be lovely if there were 15 others, but um, this is the only one I have ever seen. Uh, full red hard rubber and of course, Aiken Lambert did make pens for Esterbrook, I have other examples that uh, I will perhaps show uh, on our blog in the future. But this pen is just, just glorious. It's uh, a combination of two of my favorite manufacturers. Um, the nib unit is, is fairly firm. It's got a little bit of softness to it, but it's not. Um, it's more of a stub than anything else. And you can post it. It would be a very, very long pen posted. This is about number two size. If you want to compare it to, say, Waterman. Um, and these levers are pinned on this style, pinned right at the front. So, unlike other brands, when we pull it up, it pulls up all the way. Waterman and other companies, they put their pivot kind of and the first third, and this allows a further compression of the sack. It's a very interesting design. Uh, I like I like the cleanliness of it. It's just very nice. Put it in there, but very scarce. It's it's hard enough to try to find um, Aiken Lambert made or Paul Wirt made Esterbrook pens. 
much less to find them as uh, it seems the eyedroppers are more more commonplace with Aiken Lambert. They're mostly mostly lever fillers that you'll find if you find them at all. They're very very scarce. This one I have no no problem calling a very rare pen. Uh, it's exceptional, um, and you, you could put this next to the the Aiken Lambert of the same. Uh, same pattern and, and you'll see it right away. Uh, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous pen and its rarity and its beauty is one of the reasons it's, uh, it's one of my favorite pens. So there you have it, a red hard rubber Estabrook Relief. Be sure to check us out online at andersonpens.com, our store in Appleton, Wisconsin, or at any number of pen shows nationwide. <laughs>